problem I have is an office space that's 15 metres long and 7 metres wide that needs to be extended to become 150 square metres. It needs to be extended by the same amount in the length as the width. I don't know what that amount is. I'll try writing it as a maths equation. We know 15 metres times 7 metres equals 105 square metres. What do I have to do to make 150 square metres? I need to add something to 15 and I need to add something to 7 to make 150. I can guess at that value. Let's call it 1 metre. The equation becomes 15 plus 1 times 7 plus 1. That calculates to 128 square metres. That's not enough. So let's try 2. The equation becomes 15 plus 2 times 7 plus 2. That calculates to 153 square metres. Still not the right value. I'll try something in between. 1.5 metres. The equation becomes 15 plus 1.5 times 7 plus 1.5. That now calculates to 140.25 square metres. It's a bit slow trying to work through guessing the right amount. What I'm really doing is trying to find a value. I don't know what it is. Now adding that to 7 and 15 all the way through to get my end result. I'm trying to guess that value. So let's call that x just to represent the value that we're looking for. And I'll call that 15 plus x times 7 plus x equals 150 square meters. Now this will take the form of a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation looks like this. a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals 0. I need to find these values for a, b and c so I can then find the value for x to find out how much to add to 15 and 7. To do that I'll use the quadratic formula. I need to find the value of x. The quadratic formula looks like this. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. So my next job is to find the values for a, b and c so I can put them into this equation a, b and c. To find the values for x we can write the equation 15 plus x times 7 plus x equals 150. I'm going to use the distributive law 15 times 7 plus 15 times x plus x times 7 plus x times x. So our next line becomes 15 times 7 plus 15 times x plus x times 7 plus x times x equals 150. I'll put brackets around each expression so I don't get confused. Each of these expressions can now be simplified to become 105 plus 15x plus 7x plus x squared equals 150. I can then simplify 15x and 7x to become 22x 
and we're going to take the x squared value over this side and the number value over that side so that becomes x squared plus 22x plus 105 equals 150. Now I need this side of the equation to be 0 so I'm going to take the 150 value over the other side of the equation. It's positive this side so it becomes negative on that side. And I'll take the other values down as well. And I can simplify 105 plus negative 150 to become negative 45. So the equation becomes x squared plus 22x plus negative 45 equals 0. Now that's in the format ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is 1, b is 22, and c is negative 45. I'll just write those here. A, B, C. A is 1, B is 22, C is negative 45. Now we can apply the quadratic formula. For the equation x squared plus 22x plus negative 45 equals 0, we know that the value for a is 1, b is 22, and c is negative 45. So we can put these values into the quadratic formula to find x equals negative 22 plus or minus the square root of 22 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 45 divided by 2 times 1. So then x equals negative 22 plus or minus the square root of 484 plus 180 divided by 2. And we can further calculate that to be negative 22 plus or minus the square root of 664 divided by 2 and so on until we get negative 22 plus or minus 25.77 divided by 2. So we'll try x equals the plus value, negative 22 plus 25.77 divided by 2 and that value is 1.885 likewise x equals negative 22 minus 25.77 divided by 2 and that value equals negative 23.885 The negative value doesn't really make any sense if we're increasing the area. So I'll choose this value here. X is 1.885. With the value X equals 1.885, we can input that into our equation 15 plus X times 7 plus x, so we get 15 plus 1.885 times 7 plus 1.885, that becomes 16.885 times 8.885. Our calculation is 150.023 square metres, which is pretty close to 150 metres. 
therefore the value for x is 1.885.